Hello and welcome to episode 17 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, we'll be covering how to add five different kinds of multipliers to a character, these being damage taken, damage given, knockback taken, knockback given, and a general speed multiplier. This can be very useful if you want to make a character with different kind of modes, whether it's straight up Monado Arts for something like George, or another sort of mode switching like my Weiss mod. Either way, I'm going to set up something similar to what I did in episodes 9 and 15, but instead of a different input corresponding to different things happening, it's instead the percentage that Mewtwo is at, so that testing and training mode is really easy. Here's the code, and each line with the multiplier is commented. So this line has the player doing 0.5 of their normal damage, this one, 0.5 of the normal knockback. Attack module refers to damage and knockback going out, while damage module refers to damage and knockback coming in. To set a damage multiplier, you'd use set power up for attack module, and to set a knockback multiplier, you use set reaction mull. A multiplier for the amount of damage someone takes is set damage mull, and amount of knockback is set reaction mull. Those last two are both damage module. Here's how we do the speed multipliers. They're a little bit different, and they use this import called kinetic motion instead of a boma. You'll need to declare kinetic motion with this line up here before you use it. All of this code, reminder, will be available for reference under item 1 in the description, but let's give it a little test in Smash first. Some of these are a little difficult to show, and I really couldn't be bothered to show all 10 of them, so here's a few to show that they do in fact work. If Mewtwo's at 5%, he should be dealing double damage, so F Smash does 40.3, and normally it does 20.1. When Mewtwo's at 4, he should take half the normal knockback, so if we set the CPU to F Smash, sends us to about here. Well, normally, he sends us a little farther. At 10%, Mewtwo should be moving two times faster, and he sure seems to be. This affects various things like some jumps, but not everything, so just be wary of that. The same goes if we want to make Mewtwo slower. Jump doesn't go as far, and he just does not move very fast. I hope this helped, and happy modding!